some point we'll have to make a what's it called sawmill yeah there we go here's a little bit more storage <laughs> I can't believe you can use these for storage. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Just toss your stuff in the trash. Alright. You can live like Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright. Back to recording. Cool. Probably should make some... Uh... How do you make the advanced health potions? Uh, you go to the alchemy table and you have to have the lesser healing potions and glowing mushrooms. Oh. Well, I got that. Let's see. And I stack in 30. Missing something. What am I missing? Hmm. No, I don't want to set my spawn point in the guide's bedroom. <laughs> Alright, healing potion. Oh, I need two lesser healing potions. Ah. Uh, they just... might have to buy a bunch from the uh, merchant. Yeah, I don't have any money on me. I'll have to get some out of my bank. I'll cut down these trees here. Deforest is it? Deforestation for the win. There you go. I think I said that wrong, but oh well. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Close enough. Oh, hello, zombie. Why'd you kill that bunny? You're so mean to the bunny. <laughs> I kind of like that they have two different models <laughs> for the zombies now. Yeah. The one with the brains exposed is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. My kids want me to let them play this game. It's like, nah, it's kind of gory. <laughs> it's pixelated gore, but no, uh, still. It's better than Killing Floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way better. I don't even let them watch that one. <laughs> Left for dead. It's pretty intense. Yeah, Left for Dead definitely shouldn't uh, be seen by children. Yeah. I think I'll make some uh, some glass bottles. I just made a bunch of those on Minecraft last night. Uh, yep. Trying to get my blaze grinder to work on multiplayer. Nah. It's a pain because it, on multiplayer the hitboxes are different. So instead of the hitbox being on the feet, it's on the head. Huh. Uh, so you have to use um, potions in order to finish them off. Huh, I see. And I can't I can't get my potions to go under the thing. Mm. My dog wants in, but I'm like in the middle of a fight here. Holy crap, demon eyes. I've never felt so watched in my life. <laughs> oh, it's finally starting to lighten up, though. I'm hoping that I can kill this last one before it does. Sweet. Alright, make some platforms. Guess I'll come over here and help you out. <laughs> my dog's trying to figure out how she's gonna lay under the space heater. <laughs> 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 That's funny. They love that thing. It's one of those little fireplace ones. That's cool. Uh, 
you watch the uh, Jesse Cox and um, Total Biscuit Terraria series? I haven't. I I've been considering it, but sometimes I don't get much time to watch videos. It's it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> they should be pleased that they uh, completely nerfed the cactus now. Yeah, I love that. Look, at these zombies are screwed. <laughs> <laughs> should just platform over them so they'll be stuck there. They'll despawn eventually when we leave the area. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Don't you jump at me. <laughs> I'm gonna be really tired soon. I'm drinking my third cup of coffee. I've only been up for like three hours. No. Is that ground iron it is? I forgot how challenging zombies are when you're first starting out. Yeah. And demonized, good grief. I better head out, head back. Yeah, so much for that. <laughs> Looks like you're getting a free trip. Yep. <laughs> Just as day breaks. <laughs> nice timing. Oh, and I spawn in the guide's room. Thank oh, I found you. a pretty cool cave-looking thing here. Cool. Some iron. Did I not have any money on me? Okay, that was a glitch. <laughs> I looked in my inventory and I saw n I see no coins at all, but when I did a mouse over it said I had six silver coins. Huh. And now that's gone because I clicked on it. It disappeared. <laughs> That is bizarre. Alright, well. Wow, you really wandered off there. Yeah. Hey, didn't you find another uh, life crystal? Yeah, I accidentally used it when I was trying to toss it to you. Oh. That's alright. I found a chest. What's in it? I don't know, I gotta make some more torches before I go down there. <laughs> uh. Should make some platforms. We have twelve torches. All right. Forty-four arrows. Okay. Four copper bars. And sixty-six glow sticks. Wow. <laughs> and a free chest. All right. That's a perfect place for an antlion to spawn. Right on the edge where I can <laughs> hit him and he can't touch me. Do they, like, they added in a gun that... Oh, another chest. That requires, um... Ooh. 28 silver. Three grenades. And a spear. The sand gun? Yeah, the sand gun. And the, those things do not drop their mandibles. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I was farming the desert biome for like four hours straight and got three of them. Wow. Stop. Ooh, a cabin! Jesus! <laughs> this, this cave is awesome! <laughs> I want to see it. This is a big one too. Alright, hopefully. Way did you go down the top way? Yeah. If you follow the torches. Oh yes. crap, I'm gonna sneeze again. Why you torch spam a lot? Yeah. <laughs> I do the same thing in Minecraft. Torch, <laughs> torch spam like crazy. Potion for the wind. And a boomerang. <laughs> Sweet. Wooden boomerang? Yeah. Ooh, a hammer statue. Cool. Very Lots nice. of background. Yeah, watch out. There's going to be traps all over the place here. In fact, I <laughs> see one already. Do you see the trap? 
Nope, I'm gonna grab all the background first before I go out there and look. Oh, the slime just triggered the trap. Is <laughs> <laughs> it a dart trap? No, it was a uh, boulder trap. Ah, uh, nice. Bane of my existence. Yeah, I actually didn't know that those um, reset themselves until you got hit by the same one twice. No, it wasn't the same one. There was two of them in a row. Oh, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were, like, almost right next to each other. There. Yeah, they don't reset because the, the boulder is gone once it falls out. Yeah. I like these new wall backgrounds. Yeah, they look cool. They make like a good um, mine shaft wall. Uh huh. Looks like there's something off to the left there too. I see a blink weed over there. Oh yeah, I hate those things. They make you think that you're gonna find something cool and then you find blink root and you're like, nah. <laughs> More of that. Well, at least you can use it for shine potions, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, nice. I found a background hole. <laughs> oh, cool. Light it up. Exactly. Light it up for free. And I'll just leave that dirt there so that slime's stuck. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I love how like, they jump into your sword or whatever you're using, and then they right. get mad at you. <laughs> because you hit them, but they right. jumped into it. Yeah, I got my sound effects ready here. <laughs> Is there anything down there? Holy crap, there's a lot of wall pieces. <laughs> Start furnishing a new house. Yeah. I've probably got enough walls to do it. I wonder if you can make a house now in the uh, underworld. I don't know. They, they said on the changelog that NPCs are more attracted to underground houses now. Yeah. Well, you can, you can specify. Uh, have you looked at the interface for the NPCs? No, I haven't um, had any NPCs since 1.1, except for the guide. I really just tried to trap him down in a cave. <laughs> yeah, there's a interface now when you go in your inventory. It's over by your uh, equipment slots. Yeah. That uh, you can specify who lives in which house. Nice. Or which room. And then... Uh, if you basically you go away and then you come back, they'll spawn into their room. Huh. So you should be able to use that for putting uh, NPCs into underground housing. Yeah, well, it said like they're more likely to spawn when they put them into an underground house. Uh -huh. I guess, I don't know. I haven't really messed around with the housing yet, so... Right. I have 197 planked walls so far. Wow. <laughs> and you're like, what, half done or something? Yeah, about that.